Hey guys, Coach Corsi here. Hope you're having a great week. We are in Tagum City in the Philippines and just have something on my heart that I, that I want to share this week uh, that I've been thinking a lot about. And I want to talk about how, how do you get more playing time? Well, you're on a team and you're with a coach and you're trying to figure out with your coach how to get more playing time. Whether you're coming off the bench or maybe you're starting, you know, how do I get more playing time? How do you, or how do you even get, you're not playing at all. How do you get any playing time with your coach? So I want to go over a synonym of perfect. So, so my whole thing is in order to get more playing time with your coach, you have to be perfect. So this is what I always tell my teams. We got to be perfect. And a lot of my teams would say, coaches, we can't be perfect. Hey, I know that. I absolutely agree with that. And I know that, but we always want to strive to be perfect. So I want to take the word perfect and I want to use the synonyms P-E-R-F-E-C-T and explain to you some of the things that coaches are looking for in order for you to get more playing time. So here's the first one. Perfect. Positive body language is so important that you have positive body language. You have a great attitude. Coaches are looking for players that have a great attitude and they know when there's negative body language out there. So you gotta really have positive body language throughout every practice, throughout every game, as you're, as you're with your coach, trying to impress him to get more playing time. E, eliminate mistakes. Okay, don't, throw, don't turn the ball over. You wanna impress your coach, you wanna get more, more playing time, eliminate mistakes. Don't turn the ball over. Be the guy, the coach wants people on the floor that he can trust to get a rebound, to get the ball down the court, to get a score and to not turn it over. Eliminating mistakes is huge in getting more playing time. Uh, number three, R, repeat what the coach says and does. Be a coach on the floor. Always be a coach on the floor. Be a leader. Be a great, great teammate. Be a great teammate. Be a great leader and, and, and be that coach on the floor. Repeat what he says. If the coach, if the coach claps, you clap. If the coach says sprint, you sprint. So really be, really repeat what the coach says. F, be a fast learner. Learn the plays, learn the drills quickly, learn quickly. The faster you can learn, the faster you learn a drill, the faster you learn a play, the faster you learn what the coach wants, you're gonna get more playing time. Nothing frustrates a coach more than telling a player over and over and over again where to be on a play or where to be on a drill. It really slows down practice. It, it slows down everything. So really be a fast learner. If you want to really get the coach's attention and get on the floor, he wants to work with players that have a very high basketball IQ and really pick up things uh, very quickly. Uh, this is an important one. Early and stay late. Okay, get to the gym. Be the first one in the gym. You know, practice starts at 2. Be there at 1.30. Be there at 1.45, warming up, stretching out. Be the first one in the gym. Coaches in their minds, they remember when they walk in that gym and they see you there as the first player. That resonates with them and that will get you a lot more playing time. And be the last guy to leave. I always tell my players, be the first guy to come, the last guy to leave. You know, I, the players that I loved is when practice was over and we had to turn the lights off, I had to tell them, hey, we gotta turn the lights off guys, we gotta go home. I had to kick some players out of the gym. Those are the guys I want, I want to play. Those are the guys I want to play for me those players that are early and they stay late. So very important that you do that. Uh, C, be coachable. So This is so important. Be coachable. Believe in the system, okay? When the coach claps, you clap. Just be very coachable. Be somebody that is willing to learn, that's not stubborn, that's willing to learn, to willing to accept what the coach is trying to teach. Be very coachable. Uh, as you as you move through the program and then the T the last one T tireless be, be tireless meaning work hard work work so hard you know that 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 the coach the, the hardest working purchase the person the coach is gonna you're gonna get the coach's attention you're gonna get his attention if you are tireless and you work hard uh, no matter what every sprint you're the first one you win every sprint every drill you're the first one out there. You're the first person in line. Uh, you win every drill. You sprint everywhere. When coach says sprint, you sprint. Coach says, let's go, let's go. You know, be the loudest player on the team. You know, coaches are looking for players that are tireless. 
and tireless not on offense more tireless on defense be the best defender when i was a sophomore at vanguard university i just transferred from biola and i didn't play much at biola and we had a great team but i didn't play much i i was like 11th guy on the team <laughs> and so i went to vanguard thinking i was going to play right away because they weren't as good as biola but i walked in there and i realized really quickly that there are some really great athletes and i was going to really struggle to get on the floor so right then i decided i was going to be the hardest working the hardest working most energetic hardest working play, player on the team and i also decided that i was going to be the best defender and that sophomore year we had a great year a uh, great year we went to the finals of uh nai playoffs in our division one game away from kansas city and i played i was six man i played a lot of minutes i played more minutes than some of the guys that started and you know, the only reason why, was I that talented? No. Did I score that much? No. I just was the hardest working guy on the team. I, I, there's nobody on that team that worked harder than me those three years that I was there at Vanguard University. I worked my butt off and I just, and I also was the best defender. So be tireless. You know, it's so important. So, you know, be perfect. It's so important that if you want to get, because players always ask me over the years, how do I get more playing time, coach? What do I have to do? And I've really been thinking about this lately, and as I, as they're starting this new team, the Braulio Bearcats, I was really thinking about this team. We've got a lot of guys that want to play. And what does it take, what does it take to get on the floor? What does it take to get more playing time? And again, perfect, be perfect. Positive body language, eliminate mistakes, repeat what the coach says, fast learner, uh, get there early and stay late, coachable and be tireless. If you do those things, I guarantee you, you'll get more playing time. And it doesn't matter what your ta talent level is. It doesn't matter what your talent level is. A lot of times, the greatest players don't always get the most playing time. The players that do this, perfect, get the most playing time. So you wanna, you wanna recognize, be recognized by your coach? You want more playing time? Lock into perfect. And listen to this video two or three times to really understand it. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody out there. I appreciate you. Please subscribe. And uh, thanks for being a part of this. And have a great day. God bless. And go Bearcats! Hey guys, Coach Corsi here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and thanks for being a part of this vision for the future to impact our youth and the next generation. God bless you and go Bearcats.